Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jana. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time out of your day to watch this video. In today's video, I am going to be comparing the Louis Vuitton canvas key pouch and the Louis Vuitton empreinte key pouch. I got these two a while ago, I don't remember when. I think I got this last year, but it was like a replacement. And then this one I got in 2017, something like that. I don't really remember. Hopefully this video helps you into deciding whether or not you want to go for canvas or you want to go for Ombron. And if this video did help you, I would love to know. So message me, feel free to message me on Instagram or comment down below. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed down below if you want. I post every single Tuesdays. So without further ado, let's get started. I have my notes in front of me just so I don't miss anything. I'm going to be giving you some pros, cons, and ultimately trying to help you decide whether or not you want to go for canvas or if you want to go for a leather piece. Okay, these are both key pouches, but I really want to know if people actually Put their keys in it. I know some people put it in this one because it's bigger and it's more malleable just because it is leather. So here is a close-up of the Ompront. It has a zipper at the back and a envelope style and a gusset on one side. When you open it up, you have the hot stamping, nothing, and then your main compartment. So this is 5.1 inches by 3.4 inches. It is embossed calf leather. It is calf leather lining, shiny golden color metal pieces. One gusset compartment, one inside flat po pocket, a key hook, and a pressed stud closure. For the canvas version, it looks like so. It is 4.5 inches by 2.5 inches. It is coated canvas, a zipper closure, a key ring, and both sides look exactly the same. So I'm going to start with the canvas version. The pros, it's very, very compact. It can fit into any bag. It's very easy to use, very versatile. It's carefree. It's very multi-purpose. I can use it as a small catch-all or a wallet. So right now I'm storing all the gift cards that I got for Christmas from my, my students. Um, so I have all of them in here and it holds quite a lot of stuff. So 13 cards in here and I don't even think it's very full, like it's not full capacity yet. You can definitely fit a little bit more cards if you want. I probably wouldn't just because I don't want to stretch out the zipper or anything. But the inside is a leather material, it's just the brown leather. You fit all of that in here, like so. You can also fit bills in there, coins in here. So let me show you um, how that looks like. So I have a $5 bill. You do have to fold it twice in order to put it inside. Folding it once will just not work. And then I have dollars and toonies in here. And it fits. No problem. I wouldn't put the keychain inside just because it will like start to lose its shape here. But I would just leave it out and I would put my like hang my keys on here. 
pocket here and I'll just hook it on there and then I'm good to go. I absolutely love it. You can put so much other stuff in here. There's so many videos out there showing you what you can fit, but I'm just not going to get into that just because I'm going to compare these two. Okay, now moving on to this guy. The pros for this, I can use it more as a compact wallet. I don't have to fold my bills and I can put more coins in there because it has a separate uh, compartment, like a zippered compartment. I do still have a little bit more coins. This key hook, I just like slip it in here. I'll show you in a minute. But I have my main credit card and driver's license, health card, and everything in here. So I'm going to just take those out. And I'm going to put in the 13 cards that I showed in the canvas version. I'm just going to put that in there. Plus the $5 bill. Plus just those coins oh also note that the inside lining here is wipeable so you can just like take a cloth and just wipe it I've never done it since I got it, it doesn't really shows too much of the coin residue so I have my coins and definitely fits no problem it's a lot bigger I will be doing a side-by-side -side just in a, in a minute, but here is how that looks like. It has stretched out for sure over the years that I've used it. So here we go. And then, and then the coins at the back. And again, you can just hook your key onto here and then you are good to go. It is heavy, obviously. I wouldn't stuff it anymore and I wouldn't use it like this. Of course, it is very, very easy to use. Another point, it's very versatile. You can use it also as a small catch-all. I've put like a little tube of lip balm in it, some bobby pins, hair ties. But for me, I use this as like my daily wallet. I, I absolutely love it. It's leather, so you can definitely stretch it out. But probably wouldn't stretch it out too much because if there's nothing inside, it just like bulbs up like this. You, it used to be really flat like that, but now it's kind of poofy. But I, I really like it, so. And it still smells like leather. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love the type of leather that they use. It's like a pebble material so it's very like hard and really nice but it doesn't feel too textury like the Chanel one it doesn't I don't know like I felt the Chanel caviar and it's very very dry and I didn't like it but this one for some reason it doesn't feel dry at all it just feels really nice and it just like even if you scratch it, you won't show marks or anything. And the embossing, it's held up really nicely. Of course, on the inside flap, it's a little bit more prominent, you can see, than the outside. But that's just how it is because you're using this part of it and not the inside. Another pro is it's very very low key. You can't really tell this is Louis just because of the embossing. It doesn't scream Louis. I love that about this but like look at this compared to this. So you know. Okay now for the cons. I have I just have like one con. Now if I hook my keys on here and it's like a con for me personally just because I'm so short so my hands are really small but you can see that like when I hold this I can barely put my fingers around it so if I have my if I just have my phone and my wallet and hook my keys on here it's really hard to pay so let me let me demo it for you so let's see I have my keys here and I have my wallet here let's say I'm like paying for this with the bill so I'm holding my keys, my phone, doing that, and then it's very hard to maneuver everything in my hand 
so normally I put my phone down or in my back pocket and then it'll be easier for me to take my cards out or my cash out but again that's just like my problem because my hands are so small but yeah I don't know if you have that problem too let me know <laughs> all right so here is the side-by-side -side comparison you can see it's quite a bit bigger taller wider for sure like so not too bad and then if you don't count the gusset but if you count the other gusset of course it's going to be thicker so the question is what do you want to use it for do you want to use it as a wallet a mini catch-all a coin purse um a bag charm both of these are just very very versatile you can use them as compact wallets or like a card holder but if you decide to use it as a wallet like me i would definitely go for the on prime just because it's more practical you have separate compartment for your coins and your other stuff in here and it just fits a lot more and it's leather which is amazing i love it it's so durable it's awesome plus you can put your keys on here oh also let me show you how i tuck my chain in here this gusset part here has like a little bit of an opening right there so what i do is i literally just hold it up like this and put the chain inside like so and the hook is just straight up like that so now the chain doesn't bother me or anything it doesn't come loose it doesn't yeah it doesn't bother when I like take my cards out or my cash out because it's standing upright I used to put it in the front but it's just like made it really bulky and I didn't like that and then I also used to just put it on top of the cards but again that was so hard to maneuver my cards so I didn't like that so I ended up just putting the chain in here and standing the hook upright so it doesn't bother me and I absolutely love it if you want something a little bit more carefree and you don't mind folding your bills and you don't carry too much um too many coins definitely go for the canvas version it's a lot slimmer a lot sleeker more compact also there's fluff so my first ever louis purchase was this in the Damien event because I wanted it very very low-key I didn't want anyone to know that I had luxury item just because I was still in school that time <laughs> and I didn't want anyone to know but I did give that away <laughs> as a little present I obviously missed it so much that I had to buy it in the monogram just because I'm a little bit older now <laughs> I'm not in school, I'm working. I really like it. This is like my first monogram piece actually. Um, I guess, yeah, this is not really monogram, but this is my first monogram piece and I love it. I want one more thing in monogram, but if you watched my video, you might know what that is. <laughs> but the reason why I did purchase, repurchase this again is because I um, got it in Europe, so it was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> So I didn't have to pay full Canadian price for it, plus tax, which is great because I saved, I think I saved like $100, which is amazing. I absolutely loved it. So I just love it. I cherish it. I don't even think I would be able to pick which one I like better. So that's why I have both of them in my collection. I don't know which one I would choose because they serve me different purposes i use this mostly as a compact wallet like i said before and this one is just like a like a little wallet <laughs> like a little card holder wallet you know let me know which one you have i would love to know which and what purposes you use it for because i don't even think i know how many purposes there are for this piece but i would love to know what you use it for 
Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. And if I've missed anything, don't be shy to just give me a message on Instagram or leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!